Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, this is the first lesson or lesson number one for the third grade. I will explain some important things for this video in English and then I'm going to explain in Spanish in order to understand what I'm going to do in this lesson. Okay, esta es la lección número uno correspondiente al tercero básico. Eh, la primera unidad del tercero básico es importante que tengan claro que tiene que ver con los meses del año, los días de la semana, los números ordinales y también tiene que ver con las celebraciones, las que tanto nos gustan en el año. Es por eso que aquí dice celebrations, celebrations. Es súper importante, vamos a ver el nombre de las celebraciones, cómo se pronuncia y qué significado tiene cada una en inglés. ¿A cuál celebración en español corresponde cada una también? Bueno, vamos a comenzar inmediatamente. And this is the first celebrations. The first celebrations. This is a very important celebration. Okay, birthday. Happy birthday. Like the song, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's the same celebration. Birthday. Birthday. I'm going to stick here, birthday, this is birthday, okay, this is birthday, and how can I write birthday? ¿Cómo escribo birthday in English? Birthday, this is the word, the written form, esta es la forma escrita. Okay, this is the written form. Okay, we have birthday and birthday. Birthday, the pronunciation, birthday, and the word birthday. Okay, happy birthday, remember, happy birthday. My birthday is in November. My birthday is in November. Mi cumpleaños es en noviembre. My birthday is in November. Okay, well, the second celebration, or celebration number two. Well, this is a very romantic celebration. Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. O el Día de los Enamorados o el Día de San Valentín, como le llamamos nosotros en español. Happy Valentine's Day. El nombre de la celebración propiamente tal es Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Día de San Valentín. Okay. It's Valentine's Day. I will stick here. Valentine's Day. Okay, this is Valentine's Day. And how can I write Valentine's Day in English? ¿Cómo escribo Valentine's Day in English? This is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. The very romantic celebration. Okay, this is Valentine's Day. I will stick here. Valentine's Day. Okay. Repeat. Birthday. Birthday. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is in February. Valentine's Day is in February. El día de San Valentín es en febrero. Valentine's Day is in February. Celebration number three. A very, very important and relevant celebrations in the year. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. For me, this is the most important celebration. Es la celebración más importante. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. This is Mother's Day, el Día de las Madres. Mother's Day. ¿En qué mes se celebra el Día de las Madres? A ver si me lo pueden decir en español. En enero, marzo, mayo, mayo. Mother's Day is in May. Mother's Day is in May. And this is the written form. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay, Mother's Day. This is a Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay. Again. Birthday. Birthday. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay, we have another celebration here. Celebration number four. Number four. Okay. What is this? X. Son huevos, ¿verdad? Very colorful eggs. Huevos bastante coloridos. This is Easter. 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 I will stick here. Easter. 
Easter es conocida en español como la Pascua, Pascua de los Conejos. Easter. In English, it's very short. El nombre es muy cortito en inglés. Easter. 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 Look at my mouth. Mira mi boca. Easter. Tienen que estirar la boquita. Easter. Easter. This is the four celebration. Easter. Vamos a poner aquí. Is it here? Celebration number four. Easter. O Pascua de los Conejos. Como la conocemos. Well, this is a... Another important celebration. Esta es otra celebración muy importante y bastante particular para el territorio donde nosotros nos encontramos. Huetripantu. Huetripantu is celebrated in June. Huetripantu is celebrated in June. El huetripantu es celebrado en junio. Como todos bien sabemos, en junio. Huetripantu is very important for Mapuche people. Remember. Mapuche people celebrate Huetripantu. Huetripantu. Ya, aquí les voy a pedir que me tengan un poquito de paciencia. Si hay algún error de escritura aquí en Huetripantu, por favor les pido que ustedes lo puedan corregir en la casa. Yo lo escribí como me acordaba que se escribía, así que lamento si hay algún error. Huetripantu. Se escribe exactamente igual en inglés, porque es una celebración propiamente tal del pueblo Mapuche. Por lo tanto, no tiene traducción en inglés. Además que la palabra ya deriva del idioma Mapuche. Huetripantu. Huetripantu is in June. Huetripantu is in June. El huetripantu es en junio. Another celebration. Esta celebración le encanta a los niños. Children's Day. Children's Day. This is Children's Day. Children's Day. Okay, Children's Day is in August. Children's Day is in August. It's celebrated in August. El día del niño celebrado en, como muchos deben saber, in August. En agosto. In August. And how do you write Children's Day? This is Children's Day. Children's Day. Children's Day. El día del niño. Children's Day. Okay, I will stick here. The written form. Recuerden la forma escrita, súper importante que la vayan practicando. Right. Children's Day. Okay, we have six celebrations. Tenemos seis celebraciones hasta el momento. Vamos a ir repitiendo. Birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Remember the song. Recuerden la canción. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Very romantic celebration in February. Remember, February. Valentine's Day is celebrated in February. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day is celebrated in May. Mother's Day is celebrated in May. In May or not? March, May. Okay. Easter. Easter is celebrated in... April. Easter is celebrated in April. Remember, Easter, la Pascua de los Conejos, is celebrated in April. Huetripantu, another important celebration. Huetripantu is celebrated in June. Huetripantu is celebrated in June. Huetripantu. Children's Day. Children's Day is celebrated in August. August. Celebrated in August. Children's Day is celebrated in August. Okay, we have another celebration. But I have a problem, I don't have space. Tengo dos celebraciones más, pero no me queda más espacio. Así que voy a tratar de acercar un poco la cámara. La voy a tener que pegar encima de otra celebración por el momento, porque no tengo más opciones por ahora. This is Independence Day. Independence Day. This is Independence Day. Independence Day. Independence Day is celebrated in September. Independence Day is celebrated in September. Okay, give me some minutes. Independence Day is celebrated in September. In September. And how do you write Independence Day? How do you write Independence Day? This is Independence Day. Independence Day. Día de la Independencia se le llama en inglés. No se le dice fiestas patrias. 
Se le dice Día de la Independencia. Independence Day. This is Independence Day. And Independence Day is celebrated in September. As you know. Celebrated in September. And finally, and this is the most favorite celebration for children. Christmas. Christmas. Ok, children love Christmas. You know, los niños aman la Navidad. Christmas. Ok, Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Remember the song. Song and very useful to learn English. Las canciones son muy útiles para aprender inglés. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Te deseo una feliz Navidad. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Ok, you know, the Happy New Year. Um, I need one of this. Right here. Christmas. Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ok, and how do you write Christmas? ¿Cómo es que yo Christmas? Christmas. 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 Ok. Well, uh, in total we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight celebrations. Eight celebrations. We are going to repeat together. Vamos a repetir juntos. Tenemos ocho celebraciones y las vamos a repetir juntos antes de culminar esta primera lección del video de esta unidad. Vamos acá. Voy a levantar esto un poquito porque por tema de espacio. Birthday. Remember, birthday. Happy birthday to you, birthday, okay, birthday, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, remember, Valentine's Day is celebrated in February, Valentine's Day is celebrated in February, we have another one here, Mother's Day, Mother's Day is celebrated in May, Mother's Day is celebrated in May, okay, Easter, Easter, Easter is celebrated in April, Easter is celebrated in April, okay, Easter is celebrated in April, Easter, Wetripantu, Wetripantu is celebrated in June, Wetripantu is celebrated in June, Wetripantu is celebrated in June, Children's Day, Children's Day, Children's Day, se tiene que notar esa S al final. Children's Day. Children's Day. Children's Day is celebrated in August. Children's Day is celebrated in August. Okay, we have another one. Independence Day. Independence Day. Independence Day is celebrated in September. Independence Day is celebrated in September. Okay. And finally, Christmas. 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 I wish you a Merry Christmas. Remember, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish. Remember, sh wish. Christmas. Christmas is celebrated in December. Christmas is celebrated in December. Okay, we have another celebration. We have many, many celebrations during the years, but we are going to learn this just eight celebrations. For today. Tenemos muchas celebraciones durante el año, pero en esta lección solamente vamos a aprender estas ocho para no acaparar tanto. Bueno, eso sería por ahora. Eh, voy a continuar grabando la segunda parte o la lección número dos para el tercero básico que va a tener relación con los días de la semana. Recuerden siempre revisar la descripción del video porque yo voy colocando enlaces de canciones en inglés o de páginas que ustedes pueden trabajar en la casa que tienen que ver con el mismo contenido eh, del video propiamente tal. Ok, see you next video, see you next lesson, bye.